14, my father was so ignorant, I could hardly have the old man around. But when I got to be 21, I was astonished how much the old man had learned in seven years. <laughs> It's ironic, right? You would think that the man learned, but it wasn't the man. The man had learned. It was the, the son that, that understood, because now he was a man. And one of the things that I have learned in life is that when I was a child, when I was a teenager, when I was a young man, you know, I, I had a father that wasn't a very loving and very caring father. He was always a good provider. I'm, understand this. My father was always a great provider. He provided a roof over our head, he provided clothing, he provided food. He was never a person that made much money, but he wasn't a very affectionate man. He wasn't a very uh, expressive man. And, and I grew up with a lot of desires to hear words that I never heard, even till the day he died. I remember him dying and I'm saying to my father, Dad, let, let's talk, let, let's, let's clear the air. And my father just couldn't, uh, tears were, were um, coming out of his eyes and he just went like this. And that was the last I remember talking to my father. And one of the things that I learned about life is that one day I would become a father and that I wanted to be the type of father that would be different. The type of father that would tell my children that I love them. The type of father that I would tell my children that I appreciated them, that I was proud of them. That when they did a good job, I commanded them. When they didn't, I helped them understand the difference between right and wrong and how they could not do that wrong again. And so I think I became a, a, a person that, that was shaped by my father. Though there were some negative things, I think I was shaped by my father in a positive way. We learned something from that when we, when we mature. You know, they, they said of parents, they spend the first half of their children's you know, uh, te teenage years telling them to sit down and be quiet, and the rest tell them, telling them to be, I mean, the first part, just telling them to talk and to walk, and then the second half telling them to be quiet and to be sitting down. But there's a reason why we do that, right? There's instruction and then there's guidance and, and we want the best for our kids. And so uh, on Father's Day, I want to say to, to the children here, to the sons and to the daughters, I hope you have a great son, a father. I hope you can praise your father. I hope you can say some good things about your father. And my desire this morning is to give you three things that if a father has not yet done, that they will do. Three things.